Hi, welcome to Raunchy Reality Recaps. Now, in this video, we're not going to go over any recaps specifically for um, reality show. It's a little bit different, and it's going to be on YouTube drama channels. Now, I know, again, it's not, you know, TV reality, but it's reality because apparently these YouTube channels are crazy. I got into it in the past, you know, few months and been going back, and it's just wild. It is wild. It is like the Wild West out here. And there are people making videos about somebody, so I'm going to make a video about that. That other person going to make a video about that. And it's just crazy. And so I figure I might join in because, I mean, it's crazy. So, to start one, now we're going to do various different YouTubers that I see that, well, it's a lot of drama. And um, I just mean, I just want to talk about it. So, I know you're, if you're here for the reality TV, I'm sorry, not not in this video, but definitely having some other ones. Um, going to be having some Love After Life After Lockup last episodes drop as well. So, keep that in mind. But, today we're going to talk about a YouTuber called Radiant Brit. Now, Radiant Brit is like a drama channel. I think I was looking back a couple years and... It looks like she talks about different various things, but like since like the past, like I would say like almost a year or something, her channel has been a huge amount of it has been dedicated to the Daughtry Dozen. Now, if you don't know who the Daughtry Dozen is, it's basically a mom, mom blogger. She has 12 kids. Some are bio, some are adopted, some are foster, fostered. A lot of them have disabilities, different ones. And she basically does huge, like, grocery hauls, um, like, uh, getting ready with her, or, or not getting ready with her, uh, like, uh, get the morning, she makes the meals in the morning, huge meals, it's just basically a huge family making huge stuff, like a lot of other vloggers as well. Well, Dodgy Dungeon's big, like, have over a million followers and everything, um, and apparently she's been getting, like, different channels, just... <sighs> A lot of their content is around, like, just bashing on every single thing she does. Now, I will say a lot of them, um, some of the stuff and some of the points they have are valid, and I agree with them. Like, one of them is the Daughtry Dozen mom sharing a lot of the children, her different children, including foster children, adopted children, their information, like their medical information, their past history. A lot of these kids that are adopted, you know, come from families that think weren't that great, you know, had a lot of trauma. And she shared that. And I don't think that's right. Because, you know, even if a kid says it's okay, they don't really understand the concept of it being out there. You know, they don't understand. And then she's sharing their medical information, like their different medicines they take, which I don't think is good either. You know, I don't, I don't think they should be, sh you know, that should be shared. But again, I'm not the mom. And I can say as much as I wanted how I think it shouldn't be shared. But if I'm not sitting there doing anything about it, like going to the government and saying anything, then, you know. Again, I can't really say anything because it's not against the law for her to do that. But, again, I don't agree with it. And then another issue was the amount of paper waste they have. Because apparently their sewage is broke or something's wrong with it. So they can't use it properly. They have to go take their clothes to the laundromat. Which, you know, she gets a lot of views on that. Taking a clothes to laundromat. And then she also has to get a lot of paper products. Like plates, culinary, all that stuff. So she don't have to wash it. Well... Mm, I smell something fishy with that too because in a video it, like I read she spent like $30,000 on Christmas alone for these kids so please tell me how $30,000 plus all this other spending you do all the time wouldn't fix your sewage system or be a down payment on a home to get you in a new home you know so yeah I <sighs> Even though I, I see a lot of stuff they should, you know, they go too far as commenting on Dodger Dozen. I do see a lot of bull crap Dodger Dozen pulls. So, and it's a lot of bull crap I don't agree with. So, anywho, this video, I wanted to go ahead and call out the good things that they point out. But this video is about Radiant Brit. Now, 
we're gonna go over her latest video which I listened to and I just couldn't understand the amount of just just grasping for straws at this point like you just got to call out every single body on here so uh, not everybody just Audrey dozen just that mom Alicia she, she wants to call her out all the time and it's it's like you gotta pay come on come on I mean are you just finding something to complain about at this point and I'll make a point at the end of the at, at the end my I'll, I'll say my whole piece and my point and everything even though I said a lot right now so let's get into the video and I'll, I'll stop it here and there you know so we don't get copyright shooting Hey you guys, it's Britt. Tonight we're here to talk about Alicia Doherty finally doing something for charity. My thoughts about it, and I also had a couple of other Doherty Dozen related updates. I also have a quick update on Anthony Bass, who is the husband of... Okay, I'm going to skip through that, but she like said like finally doing some charity. I mean, didn't she have a video of the woman doing charity at like a for Christmas or something, gift bags, and she talked crap about that, too. So, why are you saying, finally, finally doing something for a charity? Like, come on, man. She's been doing it. I mean, and how do you not know she does it each month? I mean, how do you know? She could be doing it on the down low and you not even know. Because, you know, if she said she was doing it, y'all sit there and complain about that, too. So, yeah, you might hear some cough going around. I'm... I'm near the highway. You might hear some cops. Sydney. So let, let's go ahead and fast forward through her little video. And because I know that a lot of you guys are interested. Nevertheless, it has been quite a while that I've been covering them, but I know that some of my audience is still interested in Alicia and all of her nonsense. So we will cover that first. So they ended up going to Walmart, Alicia and her oldest son, and they bought a whole bunch of toys and she ended up pinning a comment saying that it is actually for um, giving back. So all the toys and stuff are not for her kids. We'll see how many different ways Alicia can screw this up, but we know that she's going to get a lot of content out of it because what is giving back if you're not filming every single aspect? Um, okay, here, again, if she even didn't, I mean, she's complaining that she filmed it. Okay, and she's making content off of it. And then wasn't she complaining that she's finally doing charity? Like, again, you don't know if she was been doing it, and now my point's proven. When she does it, you sit there and talk crap about it. So either or, pick a side, girl. You know, we saw the whole holiday thing. She even included the names of the kids that they were giving back to. So I understand that there's trust issues with a lot of YouTubers. And Alicia is definitely um, one of them who has trust issues. So I know why she's filming it partially to appease people who might say that she's a liar. But the other... Um, you mean you? You? And everybody else is sitting there calling her out. Like, literally, you're... <sighs> Do anybody else see she's not answering her own questions here? Like, you're literally... <laughs> you're going in a circle, girl. Side of that is... How much do you share? We know that the shopping blog is a write-off, so that had to be a part of content. Are you going to film the establishment where you drop stuff off and then go inside and make it part of a vlog? Are you going to share these kids' names? Because obviously it's going to younger children if she bought toys. I will sit back and wait, so I'm not going to be too harsh on anything quite yet, but going... Okay, literally, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. She comes in here and she says, finally going to do um, charity. And you're sitting there telling her, you know, basically saying she's doing it for content. But you're not being harsh right now. I'm going to hold back my opinion. I'm going to be harsh right now. Girl, you already, you're not even 30 seconds in. Or she might have been. Okay, she's two minutes in. Okay, and she's done cut below on the belt a couple times. Well, you're not below the belt, but still. Girl, come on. Come on. Just come out and say, hey, I'm going to make this video talk trash about this mom, you know? So, because we all can all feel better about ourselves. 
<laughs> okay, I know I talk trash too, okay? But still, like, I don't make that many videos on the same per... Now, Life After Lockup is different, and all those episodes are different. I'm making different episodes, but literally, this girl's crazy, okay? She... Yeah. Oh, y'all, y'all get help me off of her track record i am expecting a ton of content and also some breaches of privacy for the people that she's giving back to in one way or another now i want to talk because i think that buying toys is fantastic if that's what the establishment is requesting for the kids then they want specific toys and if that's what is asked for, I am perfectly fine with that. I know that my opinion counts for nothing, but I'm just being transparent about kind of how I'm looking at this. If that's what they requested, that's completely fine. I also know that a lot of times shelters request things like undergarments and socks and, um, you know, T-shirts, like as far as like clothing stuff. Okay, anybody else seeing how like she's I, she's acting like people need her permission to buy something for a like buy certain things for a charity like first of all you don't know if she got a list beforehand so I mean why you even got to bring that up well it's okay you know I think it's okay to you know to bring to buy toys I'm not saying anything. I just want to know. I just want you to know. I think it's okay. Like, nobody asked you. Maybe she already has a list. Maybe she's not sharing that list with everybody. Because, hey, she didn't think of, oh, I might want to share the list of what I'm going to get. Because I'm going to have haters make videos about it. So, I need to make that video. So, I need to put that in the video. So, they know. Okay? Yeah. Girl, yeah. You complain about her filming everything, but then you complain about, like, then you make up crap because she doesn't film everything. Like, you can't win with some of these people. Oats, jackets, sweatshirts, sweatpants. Alicia does not need to film buying children's underwear and put it in her vlog. Why are we having this conversation again? Why are you filming children's underwear and putting it in part of your vlog? We don't need to know that. The vlog didn't need to know that. The vlog didn't need to see children's underwear. There are very, very, very creepy people who frequent channels like the Doherty Dozen. And they will look for things like that. because. Okay. Again, stop right here. <sighs> A woman went to a store, took a video of her putting the underwear that's in the store, that's for everybody to see, putting the underwear into her cart, in a store, in the public, a wrapped up package of underwear, and she's putting it into the cart. And you want to say she's trying to help, like, disgusting people get off? Like, come on. You have to be kidding me. I'm sorry. I am in this parking lot. And people probably think I'm crazy, y'all. Like, you're literally trying. I'm, I need to be more quiet. You're literally trying to assume that she's helping people get off by her filming herself in a public store putting underwear into a basket. Literally. See, this is why I had to do this video. This is exactly why I had to do this video. Because this is just so far off the wall. Now I get it. I, I read back where she like filmed her daughter's underwear when she was like doing laundry. Yeah, I mean, no, lady. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, we get that. Don't do that. That's not cool. But you're literally filming yourself grabbing a package of underwear and putting it in a cart. And, you, and she has a problem with that. Radiant Brit has a problem with that. Trying to say that she's helping, you know, nasty people on the internet find that. And, and, you know, they go specifically for that. Really? Are we really going to grasp that straw that hard? Like, seriously. I, I mean, I can't get over this. I can't. <laughs> you, oh, oh gosh. And, you know, I understand. I completely understand there are awful people in this world that do go onto these people's 
videos with kids and it's awful things happen and they got the awful stuff in their mind while they're watching those videos and I completely agree that's awful and I do I, I know I read um some mom on TikTok like she films her like her daughter a lot in weird ways that shouldn't be on the internet but girl radiant Brit listen to me right now Filming yourself in a store, putting stuff in a cart, is not a bad thing. It's not doing wrong. It's not helping anybody get off. You understand? It's freaking underwear in a box, in a cart, in the public. There are, like, are you going to go after, like, all the um, commercials that are out there for kids? Showing kids, or I mean, are you going to go, I mean, are you going to go to everybody else in Walmart ever filling the, the laundry section and say, oh my God, you shouldn't be doing that. Like, you're, you're just picking straws on her because you're making money off of her. That's it. You're finding stuff to complain about, about her that you wouldn't complain about anybody else with because you're making money. Because you're making money, honey. Okay. Because that is their uh, fetish, and I hate to even think think like that, but I am just being as real as I can. They will wait to see children's undergarments or children in bathing suits, kids at swim practice, swim class, gymnastics. That is what they seek. So if they are seeking this specific kind of content and you're providing it to them, you are attracting creeps to your channel. And this is not the first time that Alicia's done it, so I don't want to hear any nonsense about, oh, it was a mistake, it was an oversight, maybe she forgot, maybe it was a... Okay, maybe she didn't give a crap. You ever thought about that? Maybe everybody else don't think like you and give a crap, okay? Like, literally. Are you going to go and, um, I mean... I see kids in gymnastics all the time. Videos on the internet. They have a whole sit, like competition. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, are you going to go to what the U S cheerleading nationals or whatever they call it? Are you going to go to them and tell them that, um, the cheerleaders shouldn't be put on. Th they, they shouldn't do any television in your internet. No videos over there because you have teen girls and you don't want some dude to be creepy about it. Or would you end up doing anything about that? Are you going to do anything about that? Or are you just going to sit here and grasp straws at a woman putting underwear, package underwear, into a cart in a public store? And trying to say that she is helping. Or whatever you were trying to say. You might not try to say that. We, we just went over that content. But I can't. My, my brain's not computing at this point. Because I'm just. It, it, there's so much dumbness that's being seeped into my brain right now. That I can't think straight. Sorry. Ooh, y'all. Y'all. Mm. I mean, this is ridiculous. Does anybody else not find this ridiculous? Is she complaining about every single other thing on earth? Or is she just doing this because she's making money off of it? Huh? Huh, Britt? What are you doing? A one-off thing. Don't want to hear that. It's not an excuse anymore. This is intentional, and she has all of the capability in the world to edit her vlogs and think about, hmm, maybe I shouldn't put children's underwear shopping on my blog. There have been many people aside from me call her out for doing things that involve children's undergarments. Yeah, and that doesn't mean it's bad either. That just means y'all are, like, ridiculous. It doesn't mean she's bad just because other people besides you are calling her out. That just means that y'all are being ridiculous and want to find something to hate on. Like, literally, there are kids losing their lives every day getting traumatized and you want to spend your time and energy on a woman because she put package underwear in her cart in a public store and filmed it again again this is ridiculous and any of you doherty dozen fans and stands that want to just still completely just look the other way and think that everyone's just a bunch of haters why is it okay that she is showing children's undergarments on a channel that she has already invited people in by by showing inappropriate content involving children so we shall see what happens with the giving back thing 
here's my whole thing. You also promised at the end of the year, and I recently did an update on this, that you were going to be giving back to a different charity every month. And we have not heard any single word about that. That was Again, I mean, if she did something, you'd find a video to make about it. Like, seriously, does she have to tell you? Is it, um... Is it necessary? Do you need it that bad so you can make content about it? Because why does she have to tell you? Shouldn't you be like, oh, well, that's a good thing if they're going to do it. It's like when you... <laughs> When you're giving money to somebody on the streets, you have no idea if that person is actually homeless. Because we've seen videos where they'll go and walk into like a, a go and walk to the parking lot and drive off in a nice car, or they might just go and buy some like liquor or beer with it. But you give it to them because you know that you did what you needed to do to help that person, no matter what they do with it. Okay, so if she's telling you that. She shouldn't, I mean, if she's telling you she'll, you know, she's going to go and donate that and everything. Why do you need to know? Why? Why do you need to know? Again, it's probably so you can have more content on your channel. It's a promise. So what you're telling people is the promises and things that you say on your channel, you don't have to stick by them if you don't feel like it. She didn't say anything. You're the one that just now put that in her mouth. So, yeah, Brett, why don't you quit putting words in people's mouths and just stop doing it. Stop doing it again. And I say constantly, as YouTubers, your word is your bond. And once you lose trust and lose faith with your audience, you're just saying stuff and it's outright lies and you don't follow up on it. Oh, Oh, you mean your incident? Like, let's talk about this, too. How, like, Dodgy Dozen has, like, a friend, Lauren, or something like a friend that, uh, a fan. She turned into a friend. And apparently, Britt has, oh, that is a good, sorry, y'all. I have got to get a screenshot of this right here. Thank you. That was a good, I landed good on that one. Anyways, so there's this friend, Lauren, and apparently... Um, one of the kids asked something on one of the lives or something, Dodge Dozen, and um, I think it was asking if Lauren had any family or something, but apparently Brit, Brit Twit ended up assuming and telling people on the internet and having a video about asking if Auntie Lauren's been in jail. Made that completely pulled it out of her rectum. And went online and started saying all that stuff. And I don't know if she apologized or not. Or she probably, if she did, she probably walked in circles with it. <laughs> she just kept on walking in circles so she can deny everything or make herself feel better. I'm pretty sure. But if not, correct me below. But I'm not getting into that right now. But anyway, that's what I wanted to tell you. I don't know. I want the trust of my audience. I want people to trust me. And if and when I get it wrong, I address it. But I am not here just fabricating stuff and saying that I'm going to do something and then completely fall through on it and not ever address it again. I couldn't imagine doing that with something as sensitive as charities and giving back and helping people that are in need when I'm in a financial position to help the... Again, why do you need to know? Again, why do you need to know? She told you that she was going to do this. She put it out there. But you, on the other hand, are demanding her to tell you. Why do you need to know? Why is that serious? If she did it, she did it. If she didn't, then that's on her. Then she knows in her heart. But why do you need to know? I mean, come on. Why? Are you asking other people? I mean, are you calling up other companies and asking for their receipts that they send it to charity each year? Are you going over the YouTubers, all the other YouTubers that said they were going to donate to charity? Are, are you checking up on them and asking for receipts? Again, you do this to this woman because you make content. Because you can make content. Because you already have a following that hates her. You get money from it. That's why you're not spending all this time on other families, on other serious issues, helping out other kids that really need help. Okay, and that was basically the rest of the video. I mean, it wasn't the rest of the video. The rest of the video had some other stuff, but it wasn't really interesting. Um, so my point is basically here that I went through her her videos. You know, the past three months, she had about 120-something videos, and over 40 of them were Dodgy Dozen. And that's just the ones I saw the Alicia's face and the name and the title. There might have been more. 
So she's making a she she's using a good chunk of her content for this woman. She's wasting a good chunk of her time on this woman. That is so so horrible. So horrible to her kids. That you know all these other kids that are um beaten, abused, um taken away from this earth as I can put it, done horrible things to that doesn't matter, Britt, right? Right? They don't need your time. No. Dodger doesn't need your time. And you know why they don't need your time, Britt? Because you're not making money off of it. Okay? If you were making money off of those kids that were actually getting all her, really, really the kids that really needed somebody's help, that really needed a voice out there. Those kids don't matter to you because you're not making money off of it. You're not getting likes off of it. You found your cash cow and you are grasping at straws straws every day to make a video on this woman. I bet. You probably refresh her pages 20 times, watch every video just so you can make another video on it. Just so you can make another video. There are kids every day. Kids, I mean, you want... (laughs) You could probably go in your city right now and all that time that you waste on talking about this one mom who's not even, I mean, y'all sit there and say all this crap about that mom, mom, but I can tell you right now that lady is, that lady is more of a mom than a lot of moms out there these days. More than a mom that I ever had, more than a mom that I know a lot of other people had. Okay, and yeah, she may do a whole bunch of, you know, some stuff that people don't agree with and she may overspin and she may everything, all that. But dude, is it really worth 40 something videos in three months? Seriously? Is she doing that much horrible stuff that it's really worth 40,000 videos or 40,000? It'll end up being that way. 40 videos in three months. Almost a third of your content. Is it really worth that? Girl, there... You want to make a difference? Here's how you make a difference. Number one, you can get off the Daughtry train and go and help actual kids that really need it. I mean, go... You got a city, right? Go to that city. Go find out what the local foster agency needs. Like, if they need donations or they need kids' underwear, too, because they probably do. They probably need a whole bunch of stuff. Where where are you donating? Are you donating? Are you showing that you're donating? Please show me. I mean, excuse me. Can you please show me where you're donating? And I mean, again, another tangent. You're literally talking crap about somebody that's buying stuff for a charity. Yet I don't see you doing it. Okay. So therefore, unless you're sitting there and going to match whatever she's putting in there, why are you talking crap about somebody's? giving stuff to charity like why you're not doing it are you going to do that no i don't see a video on you i mean i don't watch all your videos you might be but you don't mention it like you say she should you don't mention about you going to charities if you do like you say she should so i mean come on now and okay so off that (laughs) where was i i can talk about this girl for days apparently so you (laughs) you have that You have, um, yeah, uh, oh yeah. So yeah, you could go and actually help kids or you can make videos about other kids that are in bad situations. Like I, Wildflower T, she did a good video on this. Apparently there was a video of your mom and dad causing a whole bunch of crap in this poor baby. And then the baby was sitting there crying, screaming, not knowing what's going on. Where's your video on that, Britt? How about the lady that had a gun? Her kid pulled a gun out while she was sitting on a car doing a live. Where's your video on that, Britt? Is that making money? Or, I don't know, all the other. Where, where's your video on all the kids? Because I swear every single day I go on, uh, I pull up the news. There is one kid that got taken away from us by mama's boyfriend or daddy's boyfriend or mama daddy theirself or some stranger where are your videos on that where are you standing up for these kids on that where are you i don't see you i don't hear you where are you you're not there 
because you're too worried about this one mom and how she's making money for you. And I'm sorry, there is no way, uh, there is no way you can go around the fact that the only reason you're doing this was because you're making money from it. She gets you the views. She gets you the likes. This is what you make your money off of. It. This is what you make your YouTube off of is the Dr. Justin. This one mom and you grasp some straws at every single thing she does. And I'm going to trust me, you're not the only one. You are not the only one. Okay? I'll be going over others too. But. I watched your video and I was completely like, come on girl. Like, you're seriously grasping for straws at this point. So, yeah, you can either actually make great videos about other people that actually need help and bring awareness to them. Unless you're, you know, you just don't want to bring awareness to people with horrible problems going on or another one is you brought up and later in her video she brings up the coogan law which is basically a law for child actors getting them 15 making sure their parents save like 15 percent of their earnings so she brings up that now if you're so worried about these kids not being on coogan law then what is stopping you from trying to make that happen you know people pass laws every day, and they are not a part of, some aren't part of the political process, some aren't part of the government, or you know, have any legal background, but they start somewhere. They get laws passed. A lot of laws get passed from, like, some parents just, they don't have any other option, so they fight with the good fight, and they go past law. So, where's your energy on that? So, in order to get a, pa a, law, a bill passed, you need to go and have a state representative or I think a senator um, introduce the bill into law. So, why don't you figure out how to do that? Why don't you figure out how? Why don't, why don't you call your state senator, state representative? Why don't you call every single one until somebody listens to you? If you're that, that, that for the fight that serious about that why have you why don't you do that why don't you look into what needs to be done why don't you do a video on that i'm pretty sure people would love to see a video on that of actually somebody doing something to change the laws instead of sitting here running your mouth and making videos about it why don't you do that so i'm just gonna end that right there i'm gonna end it right here the fact that these people include radiant brit and the other ones sitting there making videos on the same mom same mom over and over saying she's so horrible she, but in all reality, I mean, you think that's horrible? And what, what is what these other people are doing to these kids that are like, what are they doing? Like, is it astronomical? Point is, you, you gotta be, I keep on saying point is, point is, y'all spend all this energy on this mom and want to sit there and talk how you're so against child exploitation so against that when there are some horrible horrible cases all the time that y'all don't give any crap for and the only reason why is because you make money off of that one mom or whoever you're riding on the train that day okay so Next time you want to sit there and say, oh, I'm against this, I'm against that, I, I'm an advocate. No, you're not an advocate. You're a person that runs their mouth on YouTube. Because if you're an advocate, you find out actually what you need to do to get stuff done, and you do it. Okay? So, all y'all can sit there and lick my butt. Y'all have a great day. Like, subscribe, share.